Rightio, yeah, we're in. After 2019 public day, yeah. hasn't started yet. Yeah, really? We're at like 8.45, yeah. we've got 15 minutes before game time. Yeah, I know. Gareth and Sherry are in the background. Hello, yeah, they're not paying attention. Justin's got his magazines. Come and get a catalogue. Come and get we'll a catalogue. Um, let's just have a quick walk around. We'll have a quick walk around our booth. Uh, Trent will be coming a little bit later on, so we can do a little bit more filming then. But right now, check it out. There's a giant wall of plastics. There is a giant wall of rods and reels for you guys to come down and play with, which is going to be awesome. However, by the time this video goes up, it's already going to be happen. So, hopefully I'll get to meet some people, and you guys that watch my stuff will be down here two days so I can meet you guys, put you on camera, and you can see yourself on my channel when this video goes up. Well, i got some stuff to do, I've got a little bit more filming to do, but we'll wait for Trent to come down and then we can go and pester as many people as we possibly can. Like Jace, who's over there in the background at Pure Fishing, but you can't see him just now. Alright, we'll touch base shortly. Alright guys, what's going on? After 2019, I told you Trent was going to come down, and he's here, I've done my stuff, so now we're going to go have a walk through our stand, this is the Tackle Tactics booth. Let's go and check out the cool thing that we've kept under wraps for a little while now, and um, I think you all are going to like it, so let's go check this out. All right, these guys are called Big Eyes. They're basically, actually they're a little bit different. They're kind of like the demon's headlocks, but a little bit of a different profile on the jig head. We got some nice big holographic eyes. Actually, I've grabbed two holographic eyes. We've got some glow in the dark eyes too. Which are going to be awesome. All right, cool. So that was the big eyes, guys. That was a big thing we've kept under wraps for a little while now, but super excited to get them out. They come in a range from quarter, three eights, about a three o hook set at the moment. That's about it. It's not a monstrous hook size range or weight range, but we may be elaborating on that, so we'll just see what's to come in the future. But Akuma, that's my deal. That's the cool stuff. Our rod range this year is actually massive and insane. Last year we sort of only had maybe this much of it, like a little quarter, but this year we've literally got this entire rack full of Akuma rods. The you guys, if you're not here already, next year hopefully there'll be a public day. I don't know about next year yet, but hopefully a lot of you guys watching now will come down here and check out all the Akuma stuff. But let's go over and we'll have a look at a few of my favourite ones. I did a video yesterday, if you guys saw it, um, on sort of my top three picks. We'll quickly run through them. We've got the Komodo series of rods, which is really cool. It's going to cater for like your Barra guys, your Cod guys. I know the Flatty Classic is actually coming up, so it's going to be perfect for... If you want to use swim baits, glide baits, you want to use big five inch plastics, the eight foot Komodo bait cast rod has definitely got that covered. And it's light guys, and not only that, it's cheap. You're not going to be spending hundreds of bucks. I think it literally retails for like 150 bucks or something like that. So make sure you go in and see your retailer and ask for the Komodo bait cut. Now, the rods that I use, I've said it a million times, you guys can see it over and over again on all of my videos. That's really loud. The Helios line of rods is what we've come up with here in Australia. It's a 40 ton Torre graphite rod. Really light, really sensitive, everything you need and more. We have got the Helios SX, which is actually won FTEX last year. We kind of didn't really have the stock of them in, but full range is in right now, which is these guys here. They come in a few weights. So that's a one to three kilo, probably a little bit too light for me with the bass. Two to four kilo suits me really, really well, and it's just a really nice, light, balanced rod. I'm not going to touch too much on these because I've already done that, but there's something for everyone. We've got literally like a $40, 30 or $40 retail rod down the end there, which is the wave power. 
thing for 40 bucks. It's a compact graphite rod. That's going to do everything. And you're not going to be, if you break it, you can try and break it, but it's really good. If you break it, you're broken 30 bucks. You're not going to be breaking two, three, four hundred bucks. So that, awesome for you guys first getting into fishing, for your kids that, you know, if you're if you're an adult, if you're a parent, mum or dad, and you want to get your kids something, that's probably going to be a hell of a lot better than spending something on a fiberglass rod that feels a little bit yucky. But for the price point, you really can't beat it. So that's what we at Akuma have really tried to nail on the head is really try and adapt to every person in the field. You got your beginners, your intermediates, but even your top range guys, you know, it used to be spending five, six, seven hundred dollars on a rod. Our top of the line rods retail for about two hundred bucks. And that's the top of the line. And that will rival all of your six hundred dollar rods, I promise you. I've gone from that. I've gone from $600 rods to the $200 rods and I like these $200 rods a hell of a lot more. So, I think the important thing is you guys need to get down to your retailers, play with some Akumas, more and more guys are jumping on it, but if you want one and they don't stock it on floor, I know I've had a lot of people talk to me today and over the couple of days like where can I get them, my tackle store doesn't have them. At the end of the day, Say what you want, and they should be able to get it for you. They can bring us up at Tackle Tactics and order it. Jeffrey is standing there and is probably going to run away. Where are you, Jeffrey? Let's go find Jeff. Look, he's running. He's running. Jeffrey, Jeffrey will get him out of the boxes. Whatever you want. Jeffrey's the man. He'll be able to get it for you. Justin's where everyone runs away from the camera. It's really awesome. Um, this is our booth. I'm not sponsored by z men but there was a quite impressive range of Z-Man that's on our wall at Tackle Tactics. So I'm not going to go over Z-Man, but that's probably the coolest stuff. We got the reels, these are the Helios line of reels, so these are the top of the line that we've got. I run the 20s and the 30s, super lightweight, they've got the torsion control armour, so the reel is actually not going to contort and twist when you're fighting something a little bit bigger. Um, my actual personal favourite reel is the Epixor. This guy, honestly, not only does it look him, it looks sick, it looks so good, but it's not as light. You do sacrifice about 20 grams difference in between that and that, the price difference. This is like a hundred dollar reel. It's not going to set you back. It, literally, you, you can make that in a week, less than a week. You don't have to save for that. hundred bucks, this is pretty much an indestructible reel. Really, really awesome. It's got about five kilos of drag, so it's going to stop everything you want, unless you're going to be fishing for some of your bigger boy stuff, but then you're going to be up to the bigger models anyway. So, this is our spin range. We do have a lot more. They're the ones that I actually use. Um, we'll quickly go and have a look at our bait cast, and then I'll show you what I use over there. This is locked. We've, it's been a little while since we've had a public day, so these are kind of a little bit more expensive. But, you know, the quality is second to none. This is the Helios SX. I touched on it yesterday. Uh, the ratio is 7.3 to 1. So it's quite a fast without being too fast. It's not an 8 speed. It's not a 5 speed. For me, the 7.3 is perfect for everything that I use, but the coolest thing that this guy has is it's actually got a disengaging spool. So the coolest thing about this spool is because there's actually no spool shaft that goes through. One, not only does that cut down on weight, but friction, right? That's all we care about, how easy it is to cast reels. This guy is so, so easy. Because it's got nothing running through there, it literally just runs on a bearing. So you can fire out crankbaits, which I have done before, jerk baits, but you don't need to whip them out. If you whip them out, it's almost too much for this reel. It's that easy. So that's probably my number one bait cast reel. That's the one that I use. That's the one that I love. I throw everything on that, and I just can't get enough of it. The other cool one, it's not exactly new. We did bring the series out last year. However, the newest thing this year is the KDS 273 in the Komodo. Now, it's a bit more of a heavy duty reel. It's not as light as the Helios SX, but instead of having about 5.2 kilos of drag, this little fella here, super low profile, nine kilos of drag, which is just insane. The inside is stainless steel. Everything is stainless steel on this guy. It still casts just as smooth as a Helios, but for the saltwater guys that are fishing for, again, like I was saying with the Komodo um, bait cast, 
it's going to be perfect if you're going to be throwing those big, heavy swim baits, glide baits, even big plastics and salt water. This was targeted more at your barra guys up north. That's why everything's beefed up. The gearing's beefed up. The inside's beefed up. It's salt water ready. But for the guys throwing cod too, it's still going to be perfect. It's got that stopping power that you need for big boy fish. All right, so that just about does it for our stand, which in my eyes is the best stand. Obviously, it's got a humor all over it. Now, who else have we got? Hickson's there talking. Yeah, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, it's like Battle of the Beards here. The other cool thing. Oh, yeah. No one ever holds this. I don't know why. It's not. It's the best one. We got a cool little thing happening here. You get a photo with any of our legendary fish. Mainly, mainly the bass. <laughs> and then you can go into a draw to win a thousand bucks. Where's the thousand? One thousand bucks worth of gear, whatever you want. That's all you have to do. It's going to be too late by the time you guys see it, so that's really unlucky for you. But bats. More people need to hold up the bats. You forget about this. No one wants that. No one wants the Dewey. Bats. Hey, there's Jace. Hey, there's there's Jace. He's, ba he's background in um, TT. He does all the cool stuff. He does this stuff. He does this stuff. That's really cool. Everyone's met Jace? Cool. We're going to annoy people. Scotty Hillier is in the background with the girls. Oh, just talking there's Jace. The there's Jade. Always. Jade here. Sherry. Sherry, the number one. Hello. PA, SARS girl, and the Bass King. The King. Yeah. Bass man. See? I didn't say that. Alright. Let's go pure fishing. Victim number one that I'm going to annoy. Got mistaken for my dad by Liam. We're going to annoy you. You're getting cast of that. Now you're on camera. <laughs> Jason DeForest, everyone. G'day, Keeks. How are you, mate? What's going on? What's going on? You're enjoying what? I am. Jace was possibly hung over this morning. I wasn't the red wine aficionado. <laughs> <laughs> Jace loves his red wine, and he was really excited watching me drink red wine last night. Yeah, and it was horrible. Yeah, it was <laughs> pretty ordinary. It was a little one. bit dry. Yeah, <laughs> it was. So what's, what's up? What do we got? What do we got? Come and show you something. Come and have a look at these. Let's have a look at some cool stuff. Let's go look at some Ray Rex rods. Okay. We're trying to introduce Abu to all levels in the in the market. So these are the. The latest thing that we've brought out. Super cool. Faz like guides. Awesome blanks. Winch set up skeletal as well. So on your brim rod. But the cool bit about that, that's a Faz like guides, full functionality, you get any good top end rod. $119 retail. Affordable. That's insane, isn't it? Affordable. Ten years ago, that would have been a $500 ride. So technology... More, more and more brands are doing that now. And that, even us with the Kuma. Yeah. No one wants to... People don't want to spend four, five, six, seven hundred dollars on... Yeah. Ones anymore. And you don't fish with one rod. You've no. got six or eight on the deck. Correct. So it gets a bit expensive. So, so the smarter people can spend a hundred to two hundred bucks on a rod yeah, rather than... Like you and me, I yeah. Smart. Correct. Yeah. They're smart. Yeah. See, I don't know how smart I am because my hair gets tangled. Yeah. You're a lot smarter than me. Yeah. That's why it's brushed back because that's aerodynamic. It's high maintenance it's every two weeks. <laughs> 20 bucks, but I get a beer. On that rod, though. On the rod? You put on a little rock sarnie like that on that rod and spilled up with braid and you're out of jail for under 300 bucks. Bang. Like, that is pretty good. That's modelled off the old MGX, the original one, which is the top of the line one. So you've got carbon handle, seven bearings. It's got a really quick drag progression on it. So from loose to fully locked is only one sort of turn, basically, which some people struggle to get used to, but I really yeah. like it because you can just nick it up once and you, you know, you've got that extra pressure. Good flat handle. Super light, and and again, it's at the right price point. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Big solid bail arm. Yeah, wire as well. Heavy duty. Yeah. So if you stack it, yeah, it's pretty on it. Hold up, it's gonna hold up. Yeah. Pretty cool. Sweet. Nice to see you, mate. Yeah. I'm gonna go around and annoy some people now. Sounds good. Jason, see you guys. All right. Fake dad. We just went and annoyed. Victim number two, we're going to annoy Brendan. Actually, he's busy. 
Let's have a look at some of these cool little crankbaits. I think I can grab a couple. They're really cool. I was looking at them the other day. Oh, here we go. Oh, these things are cool. I think I'm going to go and see the boys next week and uh, grab a couple down the road. Don't you run away. Look, where are you going? No, 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 no. Look, everyone runs away from the camera. No, I'm not running away. What are we doing? I'm looking at these crankbaits. Yeah, bloody awesome. Little Atlas cranks. They're, uh, yeah, you get down to two and a half metres casting, three metres trolling. Yeah. Um, super small, got a really cool action to them, so perfect what no, you're doing. They got, they got a really flat head. That's yeah. that's a cool thing. Not only the profile is super small, yeah. but the flat head, I really want to see how it... Well, it gives it more action. It also yeah. makes it go... It sort of acts like an extra bib, so it makes it go a little bit deeper. I know. So it's, uh, yeah, they're cool. They catch a lot of fish on those. They're a little bit of a uh, dark horse in the Nomad range, I think. They're yeah. sort of something that's... Uh, you know, not many people are looking at the really small stuff, but you know that's, that's yeah. one of my favourite little lures, that one. It's uh, took, took a lot of time to get the weight just right in on such a small lure to get the toe point right and the position of the weight and all that sort of stuff it's uh yeah it's it's fun getting that stuff right yeah when you see it work and catch fish it's yeah, it's feeling yeah, it is it's satisfying but yeah i need some of these for the richmond round in a couple of weeks so Absolutely. i gotta come and see these boys Absolutely. down the road from me yeah and i gotta grab a couple and color range yeah no i got a heap of colors. i know brendo there he is look look, look. there he is <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, there's a heap of different colours. We didn't actually bring out yeah, all the, the colours. That's what um, Brendo was saying the yeah, other day. There's, probably, there's about 10 or 12 colours there, but yeah, most of your sort of standard, you know, brim colours. Um, but there's some different things in there as well that I think will work pretty well for you. So yeah, yeah come check them out. And, we'll and then the jerk baits. The jerk baits are really cool too because yeah, sixes, yeah. a lot of companies do the big minnow style, chunky, yeah. got, uh, Jackal, yep. Lucky Craft, yep. um, what's one of the others? Oh, Rapala. Yeah, yeah. Rapala is another one. They got that big chunky style minnow jerk base, but these yep. and like the double clutches, they're yep. they're slender, so really skinny. It'll and be you can fish them to get the skinniest profile possible. Yeah. Um, and that one's more about body roll, so it still yep. gets a little bit of twitch going, but it's more about that. It's that shimmer. Yeah. Um, and it really, it just, it, it gets the fish biting sometimes. You know, if you have something that and it suspends level, gets that real shimmer, so you can just give it a little twitch, twitch, and it'll, and it'll dart out, and sit there. You can slow roll it, and it just gets that really nice yeah. sort of shimmer going, and. You know the the action on the, the side of the body sort of design. You can't really see it in the plastic here, but it's you know it's got a ridge down the oh, side yeah. there, um, and obviously that ridge kind of moves a little bit of water. It kind of rolls. It yeah. Once you you fish one of these and actually see the action in the water, it's cool. Yeah, you'll uh, yeah you're gonna enjoy that one. It's it's one of the lures I think in the range, one of my favourites, it catches a lot of fish. That in the 70 and the 95, Yeah, even, very, very effective. Even the 95, so this is what I was having a look at yesterday, even 95, which is that one, yeah, yeah, that's even the, the 95, yep. Yep. it's not a big 95. You look at the difference between like a Lucky Craft 95 that yeah. looks like something you'd throw for the biggest barrel in the world, yeah, yeah. that 95 still, I'd throw that for bass and I probably will, like up at Caneyer and stuff. Yeah, um, absolutely. No, that's that designed is a really, really exactly cool. for that for bass, um, flathead, that's yep. that's really the predominant market for that one. So yeah, yeah, there's some interesting stuff guys, so yeah. I'll grab a handful. Yep. I see how they go. And then we'll go catch fish on them. Sounds good. All good right. luck, hopefully you get a few. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Richmond, I need a few. It's <laughs> I need to win. 40, if 40 if 40's watching this, 40 is sitting in first for AOY at the moment. Yeah. I'm tied second. Ooh. 40 needs to um, pretty much donut. <laughs> And I need to pretty much win. There so you go. I'm asking a lot, but yeah. if I can do it on them, oh, so on stuff, this, is awesome. yeah, this, so this is where it started. Yeah, this is where This is where it started. Fantastic. <laughs> well, appreciate you looking at them, and yeah. hopefully they uh, do what we'll you want them to do. We'll make it work. Sounds good. All right. Awesome. Victor number two. We're going to go <laughs> find Victor number three. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you. All right. Victor number three. Okay, you've got a bit of a girlfriend. Timmy Morgan unsuspecting victim because we're going to follow up behind him which apparently is how I've heard Timmy likes it so let's go and see if that's true look so, see 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 I told you that just happened okay. I told I told the yeah I literally just told the camera that I'm going to sneak up behind you and apparently that's Everyone how you it. prefer it <laughs> and then that just happened and he didn't flinch 
I've been touched by a holy man. <laughs> What's going on? I've been born again. I was hoping you didn't. <laughs> What's going on? What's new? What's Every, new? Eric? Look, this is what's new. Look at, look at how much new stuff we've got. There's pages. There's pages, pages, and pages, and pages of, new stuff. of new stuff. <laughs> You're not going to like this. But this is going to be the best repair oil for the next 12 months. Long cast, full wide three construction, oh. tuna, snapper, trevally, bloody everything. Bass? Everyone's going to eat it. Bass? I reckon you could catch a bass on that. Yeah, I could. You're going to need to probably up your rod that you're going to cast it on. <laughs> that's 42 grams. Yeah, that's alright. I've got an eight foot squid rod now. That'll be. Hey, giddy up. <laughs> So no, that, that's pretty good, but you, are you more interested in some bass stuff? Yeah, let's go have a look at that. Let's go, let's go swim it. Let's go swim some stuff, this will be cool. So that was the Arashi glide bait, so 19 centimetre. It's the one Carl's been catching a lot of fish on in the, in the yep, States. He yep. stole off his uh, future in-law, Brandon. Brother-in-law. <laughs> Brandon, but uh, you know it's going to be great for barra, cod, things like that, or I can even some big bullaway. But what what we're going to tie now and have a throw is a little BX brat. It's a, it's a little bass crankbait. It's going to be awesome yeah, when they're up in the wild. shallows. And we've also fitted it with a VMC hybrid bladed treble. So there's a little blade on the yep. black treble. That'll uh, that'll flash and vibrate and tie some fish to I found somebody else here. <laughs> Timmy's done. Thanks, Timmy. No worries, you're Jesus. Victim, you were victim number three. <laughs> victim number four is Owen. Mick in the background. So what are we looking at? Feeling seedy, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's new? What are we doing? What are we looking what are at? You? So we've got the biscos. Yeah, you were smacking some of these uh, fish in Somerset, hey? Yeah, so we had the... Uh... Alright, so they're new biscos. 360 coastals from Storm. I've uh, been throwing them in the bass impoundments the last sort of week or so. Got a couple of good ones up Somerset on it. A few good ones at Hins. Uh, comes in two models, three sizes. Uh, we've got a standard rig one, pre-packed in the package. Then we've got the swing and weaver's head. Yeah. Um, half ounce. Really good sort of dragging on the bottom and keeping that tail action going. Yeah, Owen, up a bit of mud. Owen was showing me yesterday in the tank there how these track on the bottom. It's awesome. They literally just dig into the bottom and just swim. But they don't, they don't really going to have much. You can have them lift, but the way these actually track, instead of sitting flat and sort of lifting up, they kind of sit head down. And yeah, so head down. Punch into it. Plenty of tail action, so like I said, they're going to whip up that mud a little bit, that sand, yeah. that um, that weed, and as soon as they jump out of it, them fish that are tied on the bottom are going to eat it, so pretty excited about them ones, and we know they do. Alright, sweet. Thanks, Owen. No worries. Thank We've you. annoyed you enough. Yep. I was victim number four, three, five, ten. This guy needs a haircut. Coming from me. Jesus' is younger brother. Yeah, my younger brother. My younger brother. Jesus Thompson. <laughs> All right, Owen, thanks for that, but let's go and annoy some other people. All right, I don't know where we are going to go. Annoy Timmy, Greg, Owen, I don't know. Speak of the devil. We're out of here. Bye. 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 Costa, Sunnies, they're busy in there. Only Sunnies to wear. Best Sunnies. Big range. They have a range that's recycled plastic as well. Helping clean the oceans, right? Save the turtles, save the whales. Do your part. But don't even bother wearing anything else. It doesn't matter. Costa or nothing. <laughs> right, check it out. I got something really, really cool. I need like two of these for the Richmond. Dude, that's sick. So I literally need to get a handful for the Richmond River coming up. I dare say there'll be a few more people using them, but that's what I want. I've got a few of the Lunker Hunt frogs. They're pretty cool, but this guy, super sweet. Like, if you can get this snagged, I reckon you're going to have to be doing pretty good, because that's pretty snagless. You're going to be able to skip it, everything. That's the goods. That's that was the one that I was most excited about to come here and after and check it out. There's Dave in the background that's gonna definitely run away from my camera because everyone does. Alright. Maybe one of the last stands will hit. The Daiwa stand. I know. I'm with the Kuma. But the Daiwa stuff they do got some interesting little um, chatterbaits and stuff that I actually kinda like the look of. A little bit busy in here at the moment, but they are up here. I think they're filming now, so we won't spend long. These are little chatterbaits. So, quarter ounce, three eighths of an ounce. Um, 
Yeah. Come back on June. That's, that's the funny thing is, it's like, you don't know what's going on. Really cool. I think Phelpsy was saying that their hook size in the 3 eighths is like a 4 0, and that's about a 3 0 in the quarter, but it's not a very wide gate. I don't know how we're going to go. It's pretty busy in here, so we won't spend long. But it's not a very wide hook, it's, so you'll be able to get away with it for the bass guys. It's going to be perfect. So I'm actually really excited. It's really, really nice quality, too. In the Steez range, same with the spinner baits. Um, now I know that we have got our own TT range of spinner baits and stuff. These are just really cool. It's a really light gauge wire. I was playing with them yesterday. The skirt is nice, it's all hand tied on, um, fine gauge so you're going to be able to feel everything. It's not going to come out in the double willow, it's just going to be a standard Colorado willow setup. but really cool. Um, not all of these colours I think Kelpsy was saying was coming out, just a couple, but that was really, really cool. Other than that, it's just the other dive stuff. Alright, um, for all the guys that watch my stuff and use Lawrence, I guess we'll come over here and cover that, tick it off the list. The Lawrence Ghost, haven't really played with it. I mean, I'm a hummingbird dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, but for all you guys that watch my stuff that are the Rance dudes, that's this. I don't really know, it, uh, it does things. I'm kind of excited for the Garmin one, just quietly. But um, maybe we'll get Sammy and he'll be able to tell us a little bit about it. All right guys, so we're Ken from Navico. Yep. We're gonna to touch base on the ghost. weighted ghost from the ramps. All right, I'm gonna kill everyone's hype and stuff straight away by saying it's fresh water only. Fresh water only, but that's fine. Only. I'm bass dude. Sweet, and so you're cool. And the dude that watches, all the guys that watch my stuff are predominantly bass, so we're good. Oh, perfect. Sweet. We got that covered. The good news is it's fresh water only. Yeah. <laughs> if you wanna yeah. do that way instead. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, 24 volt, 36 volt. Yep. One motor does both. So you can put two batteries on the boat, like originally when I had this set up on this boat, on our demo, um, I ran it 24, yep. it was good, but to make it better, just added another battery. You don't need two motors, you don't need to change between motors. 36 volt, drops it, oh sorry, raises it from about 90 pound thrust through to 125 pound thrust. Yeah, cool. 36 volt is, yeah, obviously it's really cool. Um, brushless motor, meaning a lot less if none uh, interference on your sound and screen, yep. stuff like that. Propeller's running, not going to be a problem. If I do put the propeller on at the moment, don't panic, it's not going to chop your feet off. Yeah. I've taken the pin off inside it, so all the kids today in the public so day don't safe. chop their fingers off. So we're safe. Ready? So it's just like going to move slowly and the pin's actually spinning around on the inside. Yeah, so it's actually what they've tried to do. So it's not a cable steer, but it feels like a cable steer. Correct. So it's that American style, they love the pedal, yep. obsessed with the deck makes it a lot easier, okay? Um, very fast as you can see there, spinning fully around, etc. But it's fly-by-wire inside that, no moving parts above here. Yep. So you can see even though we've got 360 degree rotation, That's nothing's right. getting taken. So it's the same, it's just, it works, all this sort of stuff. Head doesn't twist exactly like the cable steer, yep. but it's not a cable steer. Yeah, it's a little bit cooler, it's got spot lock. Spot lock, yep. it's got heading lock. Yep. Um, it's got two programmable buttons that you can hook up to your HDS screens, anything from carbon forwards and new Elite Ti stuff. Yep. Other cool part about it is the nose cone can be interchanged. So you can take off and come standard with a hybrid dual imagery, so down scan and normal sonar. Um, that can be interchanged, take it off and put it, um, the uh, active imaging transducer on there instead so you get side scan and everything built into it. Yep. That's now, another cool feature. I think, I think Trent was saying at Somerset, and it's, I don't know if anyone's actually noticed, or it's probably be pretty good, but yeah. I know a few of my mates have asked the question, so with cable steer, yeah. old school four tracks like I run, yeah. it's not electronically driven, so you're not having power running through it all the time. Like, have you noticed anything battery-wise in terms of battery life, where it sucks more brushless. being electric? Well, being brushless, it's going to be more efficient to start with. Yeah. So any trade-off you might have had before, it's going to be sort of negated now anyway, that. Yeah. So they're saying that they're saying for the same amount of power, you're getting 40% more performance out of your engine. So it's 
so it's better. So it's better. And it's fresh water only. Even simple things like right down to the, the actual dial here on the top. I can sit there and hold my hand on it. Yep. Change that around at angles, let it go and it springs back. It's magnificent. Oh, Little cool. things like that that we our R and D guys have really thought about. You're not gonna snap it off. Yep. Right? It's just nice and simple. Yeah, cool. Really developed from the ground up. Lifetime warranty on the shaft. That's a big one. That's a big one. So lifetime warranty on the shaft, but fresh water only. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But don't, 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 don't put it in salt and then try and go. Lithium friendly too. Lithium friendly, so lithium, lithium, lithium batteries. batteries. Fine with that. Yeah, perfect. Brushless motors can handle that sort of thing. Perfect. So we're not going to tell you that's I want. warranted. Lithium's what I want. They're yeah. just... Um, Stainless steel wire. Oh, and that, that comes standard? That's standard stainless steel wire on oh, there. It's so yeah, that's assisted. Because I know the annoying thing with my men coder is I have to buy this separate because like a lot of dudes that comes with the rope, yeah, yeah. Um, the rope snaps. And then, that's why we've seen that. Yeah. We're going to put the stainless steel on there as standard. Yeah, nice. 360 degree breakaway spring in that. When it's all mounted on the deck, obviously this is up here instead. Yep. This actual whole cable, come over with this. This all actually clicks nicely into the little cable controller on the side there. So as far as on the deck, when it comes up and it stows itself, clicks into place, it's got its own little, what do you call it, the wobble stick yeah, thing on there. That all thing. that's built into it. Yeah, Ready cool. Go. Well, that um, just touches on some of the points of the ghost that I know, I'm sure a lot of my guys that watch my channel, they were going to ask this, so if they couldn't get down today, at least that covers the base, we've covered it on the ghost, but like, okay. I'm not on the ramps, dude. <laughs> but this feels pretty cool. Yeah. Everyone's got good products, man. But at the same time, this is we're excited because it's our first crack at this market. Like, yeah, we really knew that we had to make sure this product was going to be good. Yeah. Because if, it, if we brought out a product and it was a, a flop, you, you just wouldn't bother another making another. No, exactly. One, you know? So exactly. So I mean, it's pretty cool, guys. It feels it feels like a cable steer, you know, like. <laughs> It is exactly a cable steer, just with no cables. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Yeah. Any of you guys, any information? Lawrence.com or even jump to your local Lawrence dealer. Yeah. If they haven't been uh, sort of taught about that, it's probably my fault, but <laughs> get in there and uh, harass them and tell them your reps um, slack or something. You know, Sounds good. Out. Get into them. Cool. All right. Thanks, Ken. No worries, guys. Thanks, man. Cheers, guys. All right, guys. So that's basically after 2019. Really exciting day. The public day finally has happened. Hasn't happened for a long time, but it's really cool because we get around, play with the products instead of just seeing them from after on Facebook from people like me and all the other guys that we've met today. Now they can get down here and feel them and play with them and actually see themselves in person. So that's it. That wraps it up. Coming back to our stand, most important stand, the best stand with the best people stand, double beards, dueling beards. But that's done, we're out. Guys, if you enjoyed this, make sure you like the video, press a little thumbs up, and make sure you check out my Instagram and Facebook, Keegan Painter Fishing. Subscribe to this channel, that's what it's all about. I'm trying to get more subscribers so I can keep on doing these videos and bring them to you. But guys, I'm out, it's nearly finished time. There's Jeffrey again for the last time, and he can't escape now because he's right there. That's done. We're done. It's nearly pack-up time. Three days. My feet hurt. My back hurts. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I'm thirsty. But it's been fun. So, I'll catch us later. Thanks for watching. I'm out.